Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is my weekly garden tour and I wanted to do a walk in my garden and show you what was happening um, this morning. I was up really early and the morning feels so cool and fresh and I just wanted to walk around and share with you what the garden is looking like today. It's the last day of August and um, things are starting to cool down now for fall and um, just wanted to walk around and see what was happening in the garden and take you along. Calendula here has exploded and it is just beautiful. I mean, I am at a little bit of a standstill with maintenance. I haven't really done much. I'm just absorbing and enjoying the garden the way it is and it's just beautiful i love how it's mingling here with these petunias and it's just looking super super beautiful i love this combination of um, yellow and pinks and purples and it's just looking glorious um, a lot of the other uh, plants at the base are filling in the lithodora is really really filling in and it's looking gorgeous I also have a beautiful bloom on my Shropshire lad. Isn't that beautiful? Such a beautiful rose. It smells wonderful. Lots and lots of blooms on my Moody Blue Rose as well. And uh, you know, these bubblegum supertunias are just gorgeous. They have been mingling and spreading and almost I can't see any other plants because they are around. And also the verbena, I mean, weeks and weeks of this beauty in my garden is just gorgeous and I love how the garden is looking this morning the sunflowers have gone over um, I have to come out here and remove some of the um, dead flowers because I think it's still going to keep flowering so I'm gonna come out and do some maintenance but uh, for now it's just beautiful the way it is I love it Look at these uh, rock and blue salvias. They are so beautiful. And they're almost touching these um, dahlias in the garden. And they're looking so beautiful. And I also love how the creeping thyme is slowly filling in and mounding around those rocks. And I really absolutely love it. I can't believe how much this has grown since I have planted this. And it's just looking gorgeous. And also with the cranes, cranes bill, it's kind of blending in with these little flowers and it's so beautiful i also have some annuals here i have penta that's blooming and looking so beautiful along with this salvia here and it's just a very peaceful beautiful morning and here is my little lime they are starting to change colors as you can see love 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 the chartreuse and the pink on these they are just so beautiful look at the colors on these uh, they are just absolutely gorgeous they look like little uh, beads um, in the center and then just perfection just so beautiful um, and I especially love it with the dark foliage of the of this um, dahlia and it has been blooming its hearts out this dahlia it's just gorgeous just a stunning beautiful dahlia it's just gorgeous. I love this contrast of this bright red against the black foliage. Um, and I also have this beautiful Cleome here that has been blooming for a long time now and it's just gorgeous and attracts so many pollinators. I love it. I love this, love this beautiful, beautiful spider flower. Um, it's just so gorgeous. Um, and lots and lots of roses are actually coming back into bloom now that it's cooler. Uh, this is the um, Atlas Rose. It's now again giving me a lot of blooms. And these plants are now finally settling in this spot. Like they were kind of paused for a little while while they were settling their roots. And now they are just flushing out these beautiful blooms. I can't wait to see what they're going to do for me next year. The quick fire um, hydrangeas, this is my standard that I planted this year, is also turning a nice fall color. Um, it has this beautiful um, dusty rose pink color on it and it's just gorgeous. Um, and yeah, like the, everything here is so full and it's kind of 
bursting in fullness here and I love how the garden looks um, with everything so full and beautiful look at this alyssum uh, that's spilling over is isn't that gorgeous like as time goes on this is just filling in and looking gorgeous um, especially I love it how it mingles with this petunia it's just gorgeous lots and lots of echinaceas are still in bloom I have some deadheading to do but it just still looks stunning with everything that's happening here and uh, just looks gorgeous I love how I have a dead peony here I don't know why this is dead but I'm just gonna cut it to the ground and see if it comes back next year it should but let's see um, so yeah like lots of roses here as well lots of deadheading to do here as well but just love how the colors look I have a Munstead wood that's blooming in there um, and uh, yeah I mean things are just exploding in the garden right now and I love it I love the cool um, evenings now and how beautiful and um, uh, what, what, what word should I use how beautiful and relaxed the garden looks right now because it's not stressed with all the heat wave that we got and the drought we got we got some rain so it's happy and here's some sedum about to burst open soon so this is going to add a ton of color in this spot here as well once it's once it opens and it's ready so on this side i have lots of verbena still blooming um, there's quick fire fab that i planted in the back there that has also changed its uh, colors it's turning a darker pink which is looking beautiful um, i also have some sedum in there which will color up soon and it's going to look really pretty in there and I have lots of calendula here as well and I love how it is blending with all the purple verbena and roses and dahlias that are just starting to bloom. Look at this dahlia, isn't that beautiful? Love how this looks. I love the colors on this. Here's another one. It's just beautiful how this looks. Um, there's another dahlia in the back there that's blooming. Just lo love this color. Um, and then I have uh, some Russian sage that is just starting to bloom in there. And I have sedums back there that should just start to color up and I can, I'll, I'll be able to see them better once they color up. And uh, I, I also have a hydrangea in the back there that is also blooming and it's changing its colors, which is really pretty. Um, I also have a pinky winky standard, which is, uh, this is its second year. I mean, it's, it's doing okay. It's, putting out blooms but they're not as big as I was expecting them to be I think it just needs a bit more time in the ground to mature but regardless it's pretty um, I also have this beautiful stunning rainbow Niagara rose that has bloomed it's isn't that beautiful love the color on that one the catmint is putting out new uh, set of blooms as well um, and yeah the garden is looking really nice it's bursting in color right now um, and looking really really gorgeous I actually wanted to show you actually, the moonshine yarrow is still putting on some blooms which is really really gorgeous I have two quick fire no firelight hydrangeas in the back there that are also turning their fall colors and it's looking really really beautiful Look at those dahlias and, and those quick fire, the firelight hydrangea and the agastache. I love these colors together. Those dahlias are stunning. They are super stunning in the back there. Let me zoom in so you can see how beautiful they look. Uh, they are just absolutely gorgeous and I love these colors together. They are just stunning. Um, so, lots and lots of phlox and echinacea that's still blooming here i love phlox in the summertime it's doing really well i have veronica in the front there that's also looking really good and there's some red blanket flower here that is also blooming and it's filling in and it's actually looking really nice on the edge here i love the brightness of the colors that it's offering um, and then there is a bunch of wild wildness here i have barrage i have lots of redbeckia and lots of things happening on this side of the garden and alyssum spilling over so this is like my little 
wild garden section which is doing its thing right now i also have this beautiful flame honeysuckle that's blooming and it's beautiful so yeah i also have sedums there that should start to bloom soon and it's going to look really nice i have to come out here and tame this barrage but it's fine the bees love it and i'll clean it up when i'm ready also have rose of sharon in the back there that's blooming uh, i think those that's the fiji one and i also have a blue satin in the back that's blooming i mean those plants are really small right now but i think eventually when they get tall it's going to be really beautiful with all of these blue flowers in the background over there um, so yeah lots and lots of flowers lots of color in the garden it's just looking so beautiful and relaxed and i just wanted to show you what this was doing uh, let me walk over to my driveway garden and show you what that looks like so this is the driveway garden lots of color here as well there is sedum that's about to to kind of open up and echinacea is still still here and blooming um, and I also have my hydrangeas here that are changing colors isn't that stunning I love it especially against this blue chiffon rose of Sharon this is such a presence in my garden I love looking at this combination every year and it's just gets more and more beautiful with each year and look at these hydrangeas they are just stunning look at the size of this bloom it's double the size of my hand it's just stunning super super beautiful look at the colors on this i love how it's changing colors and it's just looking super super beautiful i just absolutely love it actually hydrangeas are coloring up really really pretty this year they haven't burnt they are just turning this blush color and here is the rose of sharon it's just so beautiful i just love how this looks and it's just really looking stunning in the garden all right i'm gonna walk over and show you my side garden side yard garden and backyard garden and let's go see what's happening there so walking into my side garden, sorry for all this mess due to the renovation. Um, this is the side garden here. It's lots of roses, phlox, there's bluebeard there that's blooming and it's looking gorgeous. Love all these colors happening in here. Um, I have the climbing rose America that's just bloomed um, and it's just looking stunning. It's just gorgeous. Here's another view of the front garden that we just saw. It's beautiful with all the salmony red and green in there and it just pops and looks so beautiful in there. Um, let's go see what the side garden is doing. So lots and lots of color as you can see here. Um, Redbackias are still blooming, Echinaceas are still blooming. The sedum is about to color up, which is going to look gorgeous. I had given these a nice prune, this Dianthus, and it's putting on its second flush of blooms. Isn't that gorgeous? That's looking super gorgeous. Um, I think there's gonna be lots of action on roses as well soon. I see lots of new growth, so I think we'll get another flush before uh, winter and it's just gorgeous it's my planters are filling in this coleus has grown so much it's looking beautiful and i have to find a way to save it this this fall uh, into next year it's just gorgeous um lots of color here as well uh lots of echinaceas blooming um i have to come out here and deadhead these dahlias um so i can get more blooms on them this is Bobo. It hasn't performed so well this year for me, but at least now I see some blooms on it, which is nice because there was a lot of burnt blooms on this one uh, due to the heat and drought that we had, but it's okay. It's beautiful regardless. Um, and here is the berry awesome hibiscus. This is one bloom about to open today. So just stunning. This is such a beautiful, beautiful perennial hibiscus. Highly recommend it. And lots and lots of uh, catmint about to bloom here. Um, and I have geranium roseanne that's blooming. I have this beautiful little rose that's about to open there. Um, 
and lots and lots of plants are just you know I think putting on new growth about to either bloom or put on more growth so so everything is looking happy now that it got rain and it got some relief from the hot weather um, I have lots of marigolds that are blooming here just beautiful stunning stunning blooms that beautiful such a gorgeous I love how on the same plant they have different different flower patterns aren't they beautiful I love marigolds they are so 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 beautiful the backyard garden is looking good it's looking serene I have some projects that I want to do here but um, this planter is looking so beautiful as well it's filling in with all the coleus the begonias are looking so pretty um, just I love this combination and it's looking really really gorgeous um, yeah this is the shade garden here and it's looking so calm and peaceful here this morning that's one thing I love about shade gardens it just brings so much calm and and peace into uh, the gardening uh, kind of life it's like a nice break from all the color to see all these greens and and beautiful beautiful greens I do have a couple of hostas that I need to still plant that I picked up on clearance. I'm just waiting for it to be more fall-like before I do the planting, but I might do it in the next week or so and share that video with you. Um, I also have a couple of incredible hydrangeas that I, that I bought recently, which I need to plant as well. So I'm kind of debating where I will be planting them. So they're still, still in, in progress right now. Lots and lots of, uh, green color here in the shade garden which i'm loving um in the back here also i do have some more blooms um the sedums are getting ready to bloom i have some echinacea some red backia. this is a newer garden so it's it's going to take some time to establish but regardless i mean everything is doing really really well really excited to have all these plants here and settling in and doing well and i just love how they are they are looking in the garden um, just beautiful I have some thrips here that I planted which are blooming and I think they are doing really well here they are happy here which makes me happy um, and roses that are starting to put on growth so hoping I'll get another flush of roses here and it's going to look so 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 pretty um, lots of echinacea here that's still blooming I have Veronica that's blooming here as well and it's just looking so so beautiful I love this pink and purple combination together just gorgeous yeah one little rose of Sharon blooming here let's give it a bit of a spotlight it's beautiful so beautiful and then I have more echinacea blooming here lots and lots of heliopsis false sunflowers blooming here needing deadheading but they are just beautiful regardless i have uh, lots and lots of them here look at this one not beautiful just so beautiful yeah i mean things are doing really well actually i have a nice rose of sharon here that is blooming i want to share that with you um isn't that beautiful I think this is the purple satin rose of Sharon by Proven Winners. So gorgeous, gorgeous color, huge blooms. It looks stunning. My ajuga here is filling in so nicely. I can't wait for all of this to bloom next year. So let's go and see what's happening in this garden here. Uh, lots of blooms here as well. I have Cleomi that's uh, that's blooming here. It's very sunny in the in this side right now, but uh, beautiful pink Cleomi that's blooming here. Um, gorgeous. I love how everything is doing its its flush of blooms now and happier and it's not stressed by the sun, by the heat anymore, and it's just looking stunning. I think September is going to be a beautiful month with all these blooms and it's going to be gorgeous. 
such a nice sunny glow in this garden right now. It's beautiful. I do have some cosmos that's blooming here as well. I love how delicate it is and how it's swaying in this breeze here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's so nice. So yeah, everything is looking really good. I do have a red, red salvia that's blooming here. This is an annual. It's pretty as well. Um, and yeah, lots, lots of blooms on my hosta there. I have a, I have an annual hibiscus that's blooming there as well. Gorgeous color, isn't it? Yeah, this is so beautiful, these blooms on this hosta. I love these blooms. They are gorgeous. Things are looking green and lush in this garden and settling in makes me happy. This is a lot of it is new planting from this year. So excited what it's going to do for me next year. Very, very excited about it. So that's it, my friends. I wanted to bring you along and show you what the garden was doing today. Oh, I also want to show you what these fire lights are doing. These were rescued. They were completely dry. And I'm so happy to report that they, they are putting on so many new leaves. Um, I just re replanted them here, gave them lots of water and nothing else. And they have rebounded beautifully. So I'm just going to leave them. And I'm hoping next year they come back strong and beautiful in this spot. I just love how they look. Um, so with that, I wanted to end this video and thank you so much for coming along with me on this garden tour end of August. And, and I'm so happy to share my garden with you, what it was doing today and uh, just, you know, enjoying this morning in my garden. I hope everyone is having a fabulous time in their gardens and uh, or your container garden or your balcony whatever brings you joy and i hope uh, to catch you in my next video real soon thank you so much for watching